Hi there, I'm gonna be showing you how to embed an interactive Google slide into your Canvas page. I know right now a lot of the Bitmoji classrooms are um, pretty popular and you might need some help when it comes to making them interactive so you can click on them when you're inside Canvas. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. For instance, here's one that I just created and um, you can see my mouse when I hover over the books, it changes to that hand. So I know that I could click on it and it would bring me to a new page to make it interactive. So that's what we're um, looking to do here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in Canvas. So I'm gonna go back over to this page and I'm gonna edit it to take it out and show you how to put it in from the beginning. So I'm in edit mode and I'm just gonna take this guy out and start over. All right, so what you're gonna do is use this little plug icon. That's gonna open up your apps inside of Canvas and you wanna use your app for Google. So wherever you are, you're gonna click on that little plug and then you're gonna scroll down to Google Apps. You're gonna click on the title Google Apps. Now it's gonna pop up and it's going to log you into your Google Drive and here you're gonna find that file of that Google slide that you want to embed. So I'm gonna get it it's in my reading and Epic Virtual Library. So once you select the file, it's either going to show you you could embed it or you can link it. Linking it is just gonna put a little hyperlink and your students would have to click that. It's not actually going to show you the, um, the, the interactive Google slide right on your page like this. So you wanna make sure that you're clicking on embed. Once you select that, you're gonna see it's going to load. Takes a few seconds and then eventually it's gonna pop up. Takes a little bit. Now the best thing about doing these um, Google Slides embedded right in your Canvas is that everything is automatically updated. You don't have to go back and re-upload and re-save and, and do things over and over again. For instance, if I went into my actual Google Slide, um, maybe I, I didn't want that Bitmoji in there, I could delete it. Now watch what happens. Over here, I'm gonna save it so you can see what it's looking like on my page. You're gonna see my little Bitmoji girl is going to vanish because I took her out of the original Google Slide document. Because everything is saved automatically on the Google Cloud. See, so she's missing. So I'm gonna go back here and you know what? I'm gonna click undo because I want her back there. So I'm gonna click back over here. If you notice, I didn't click save or anything. I just clicked it and it will automatically save for you. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna refresh the page. And she's back. So you can see it is interactive. I can click on things because that hand is right there. Um, so it's, it, it's working. The only thing you wanna keep in mind is that students will not be able to see this if they are not logged into their district student Google account. Um, when they first log into your Canvas page and first see it, it's going to have them, it's gonna say log in, and there will be a little blue button that says um, authorize or log in. You wanna make sure that they are using their student Google account. Even if they log in with their student Google account, but they might be logged into their Chrome browser with um, a different, maybe mom or dad's personal Gmail, they have to be signed out and they need to make sure that they're signed into their student Google account in order for that to work. So I hope this was helpful. 